last night I went to my friend Logan's concert with Brooklyn. It was really fun. And every time I do a certain makeup look, when it's like not too glam, but a bit more glam than my everyday and what I would normally do, I get so many questions on my Instagram asking for a YouTube tutorial on how to do that makeup look. This is the video of the makeup I had, and every time I wear this, people ask me to make a YouTube video on this makeup look. I thought I would film that video today on how I do it, so let's just get started. Also, this is the outfit that I wore, so I thought it would be fun to just recreate the look that I had for last night. So the first thing I always do before I do my makeup is put on a moisturizer, so I already did that part. I used the Cetaphil Rich Hydrating Night Cream. This stuff is the best. It's super thick, so if you have like really dry skin like I do, this is a really great moisturizer. And it's super gentle for sensitive skin because I have really sensitive skin. Okay, so I actually just got this. It's the e.l.f. BB Cream with SPF 20 because I've been going out in the sun because I'm trying to get a tan. Um, it's not easy for me to get a tan. I'm very, very Fair, but I'm working on it, but I've been wanting a BB cream that has SPF in it So when I go out in the Sun um, My face doesn't burn because I don't like using regular sunscreens on my face I just feel like it's way too oily and breaks me out So I wanted to get a light BB cream and it's in shade buff I just got this and I'm already in love with it Literally just rub it into my skin. Also, it's great because it has SPF in it So you won't get burnt by the Sun and get wrinkles it smells like sunscreen. I love this not a sunscreen because it just reminds me of summer and swimming and the sun and the ocean and it's just the best smell. So I don't use really a beauty blender with this. Sometimes I'll go over with a damp beauty blender and just blend it out. I'm going to put a bit more on places I want more coverage. So I have a little couple bad boys popping through. They are not invited. You need to go away. You're not invited to my birthday party in 17 days. <laughs> Wait, is it 15 days? 15 days. Oh my gosh. I'm going to be 18 in 15 days. That's just bizarre. And I like BB creams because they really like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They like oxidize to your skin tones. So if you don't get your exact color shade, it doesn't really matter because it kind of like absorbs into your skin and kind of... You know what I'm saying? So the BB cream is all on. I've been using this Maybelline Instant Age Rewinder um, concealer. You guys probably know I usually use Tarte Shape Tape, but I've been using this because I wanted something that wasn't so expensive and just like from the drugstore. So my sister uses this one and I started using it and I really like it, except for the fact that it runs out so quickly. Sometimes I'll use just concealer as my whole foundation and just like cover everything up so it goes by pretty quickly for me but i mean it's fine it still works really well so like this one is almost out so i have another one right here i'm gonna use the very last bit i have of this before i go to my new one so i'm just gonna put this under the eyes mostly just like my t-zone area because that's where i have the most breakouts and then like a few Pimple here. So yeah, this one is like out, so this is going in the garbage. I'm just gonna take my damn beauty blender and blend that out. If I'm feeling super lazy, I'll just use my fingers, but if I want it to be more flawless, then I'll use a beauty blender. Time to open up this brand new bad boy. If I can figure out how to open it. It's Leora proof. Okay, there she goes. There she is. There's nothing like opening fresh makeup. A few spots again. Sometimes I'll just use my finger to go over acne spots. Honestly, acne is so annoying. Like getting pimples, like I know everyone gets them and it's just a human thing. But it's honestly so annoying dealing with pimples all the time. Like, no one wants an uninvited guest just, like, popping out of their face. Like, it's so annoying. Like, why do we even get acne? But, like I said, everyone has it. Everyone struggles with it. Some worse than others. Mine used to be really, really bad. And then I just started going to monthly face appointments and get microdermabrasions every month, and that really helps. Also, drinking lots of water definitely helps and not eating crap which i have a bad habit of doing that but i definitely see a difference when i'm 
way healthier and drinking a lot of water and flushing all those toxins out of my body. Also, I'm gonna put on some chapstick. It's just this EOS chapstick thingy. Cause oh, my lips are stay hydrated because I have a bad, bad habit of picking at dead skin on my lips. It's really gross. It's just such a bad habit that I have. So I'm constantly putting on chapstick. I'm going to move on to bronzer and I always use Hula Benefit bronzer and just this brush is from e.l.f. I think it's like $2. Um, just like an angled brush. Yeah, the concert was super fun. He did such a good job. Um, seriously, his vocals are insane. Also, he gave me one of his hoodies, his merch hoodies, and it's so cute. I'll insert a picture right here. Also, my hoops and my necklace are both from Adina's Jewels. I'll have them linked below. They have the best jewelry ever. And it's real gold, so it doesn't affect my ears because I'm usually allergic to any kind of earrings. But when it's real, it doesn't irritate them, which is really nice. If I'm wearing something open, um, I go over the chest also, just everywhere. And for that, I just take a bigger, fluffier brush. I'm just going to take a small eye fluffy brush and dip into the Hula Bronzer. And I do this every single day. Every single time I do my makeup, I just grab my Hula Bronzer and I put it all over my lid. I make you look more alive, not so dead and looking like Voldemort. And this doesn't have to be perfect, literally just put it on everywhere. On your lid, under the eye. We're gonna take an even smaller brush and I go over the under area a bit more. So I can really get in there. And I did a more glam this time, so I make the eyeshadow a bit darker than I normally do. So I just dip in more hula bronzer and I go on the outside and fill in a bit darker. Then I just take this random palette. This is, I don't even know where this is from, maybe like the dollar store or something. But what I use in this is the dark brown. It's like a dark chocolate brown. So I always just use that one in this palette. So any kind of dark brown to bronze it up. Do the same thing I did with the hula bronzer, but with a bit darker brown. And like I said, focusing it on the outer corner. Then I take this bad boy from Maybelline. This is Color Tattoo um, 24 Hour Eyeshadow. Kind of like a gel eyeshadow and it's like metallic. So I put that on my lid. I just warm it up with my finger so it gets a bit more liquidy. And then I put it right on my eyelid. <laughs> This Maybelline contour palette and just take the highlight color and just take my finger and just pat that right in the middle of my eyelid just right smack in the middle and that gives a bit more shine now for the fun part is eyeliner this is a, just a random eyeliner I have no idea where it's from but any kind of eyeliner works I feel like they're all the same The eyeliner is done, so I'm just going to take this e.l.f. eyebrow brush and just brush my hairs up and then just fill them in lightly. I wish I had like beautiful bushy eyebrows, but you know, we want what we can't have, so. But there are ways to make them look like that, so. So I just started watching Game of Thrones with my sister. I know I'm like so behind on that trend. I finally started watching it with Lyric and I'm obsessed with it. Everyone's freaking out over the new season coming and I'm like, I have so many more seasons to watch. So no spoilers, okay? I'm still on season two. I think I'm almost done with season two. The only spoiler I wanted to know was about that stupid Joffrey. I cannot freaking stand him. I had to look up when he dies. I just, I couldn't, I couldn't help it. I had to look up when does this mother effer leave the show. My Boy Brow Gel by Glossier in shade brown. Absolute magic. Brush the excess product away. 
kind of fluffing them out go over them with a beauty blender just to lighten them up a bit to make it look more natural i focus it more in the front of the eyebrows eyelash curler and just curl my lashes i totally forgot about powder i usually do this before my bronzer but i forgot about it so i'm gonna do my powder real quick maybelline fit me fluffy brush and then over here to kind of define the contour more a smaller brush and go in the cracks and go under the eyes now i'm gonna do my mascara and i'm gonna use maybelline lash sensational my go-to this is the one i always use and for this look i did thicker lashes for a more like glam kind of look and then I put a little bit on the bottom, not too much. I don't really put mascara on my bottom lashes. I just put like a tiny, tiny bit. I'm gonna go back into my bronzer and bronze up my face more. I always do this. I just put so much bronzer on. And I'm gonna take that tiny brush and I got it a little bit wet and dip it into this e.l.f. highlight and shade Moonlight Pearls. This is the best highlight. It's $5. You can get it at any kind of drugstore. It's so... Oh, good. It's crazy good. I'm gonna put that all over. I'm also obsessed with highlight. My favorites are bronzer and highlight. I just think they make the best difference. On the brow bone. Corners of your eyes. so so glowy oh. and if my chest is showing i like to put it on my decollete just to be extra but you want to glow when you glow it's just like I've been really trying. so much better so final step is the lips i already have full lips but i love to just like exaggerate it even more because Work what you got, you know? Work what your mama gave you. This lip liner, it's from Ulta Beauty. It just says lip liner, pencil, and pom-pom. I've tried to look for this because I want to buy more, but I can't find it anywhere. It came in like a little um, sample case thing at Ulta, so I don't even know if they make it, so this may just be one of a kind, but it's honestly the best lip liner, and it's like super natural. lip gloss i got this at christmas from like a disney set from ulta it's just it says ariel on it i don't really know where to find this or it, what it is but i got it for christmas and it's like literally the perfect color so i'm afraid to run out of this because i don't know where to find it for my lips i don't know where to find the products because it's like a one-time thing that i got this is the finished look this is the look that I wore to the concert last night and also just my go-to glam kind of look if I want to do more makeup so yeah this is what I do for everyone asking this is how you achieve that Leora glam makeup look <laughs> So you've reached the end of the video um thank you for watching it the whole way through if you came this far i really hope that you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial and also let me know what other kind of videos you want to see also make sure to follow me on instagram if you want to see more from me i post on instagram every single day so if you want to follow up with my life um you can so my instagram is just at leorlapoint and i will see you in my next video